Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. Let's start by praying a very, very important prayer in Psalm 25 verse 4, where David was writing and he said, Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your path. The reason this is important is because if you don't know the ways of the Lord, you will follow the ways of the world. And the ways of the world always leads to death and destruction. That is why one of the prayers you must pray on a daily basis is for the Lord to show you his ways. As you've come into a new kingdom, that kingdom has particular ways that it follows and it is not the way you were used to in the world so let's ask god for this this new day lord thank you so much for a new week lord i ask you my father show us your people your ways lord teach us your path and give us the strength and the grace to follow your ways because we know that it will lead us to life in the name of jesus amen Of all the benefits of Christianity, none excites me and inspires me more than the one that is recorded in Colossians chapter 1 verse 5. The Bible says, For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, wherefore you heard before the word of truth of the gospel. The Bible is telling us here that there is a hope that is laid up for us in heaven. No matter what reward you get here on earth, no matter what you inherit as a Christian here on this side of life, from answers to prayers, to having power over Satan, to having access to the ministry of angels, no matter what that reward is, as long as you get it on this side of life, you can never, ever, ever compare it to what is reserved for a believer in heaven there is no comparison at all because your major reward the major things that god has kept for his people are reserved on the other side of life not on this side of life whatever we gain on this side of life is more like uh, you know how you are given a contract to do and they give you the um what would usually call mobilization fee or just contract fee just the initial startup usually you know that small percentage you get just for you to know that the company or whoever has given you that job is committed to that job so they give you what is called a commitment fee for you to start the job maybe you're told to bake a cake or you're told to um, supply xyz items to this company that initial fee you are giving is a commitment fee it is not the whole thing now the way the kingdom of god works is whatever reward you get here is obviously not more than 15 tops 20 percent of what you are actually going to get so there is something that is reserved for you the bible tells us in first corinthians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 he says that eyes have not seen ears has not heard neither has it even entered the heart of man what god has prepared for those who love him and trust me when god prepares something you really know that that thing is definitely out of this world now let's take a look at what peter speaking through the holy spirit said in first peter chapter 1 verse four to seven you know that the disciple there's something they knew about this reward that is reserved that is why no matter the pressure that came they stayed put they stayed committed to the lord jesus the early church no matter what came their way many of them were thrown to the lions then to deny jesus they refused many of them were flogged many of them were set on fire burnt on the stakes they did not deny jesus because they knew no matter what you suffer here on earth or no matter what you gain here on earth you can never compare it to the reward on the other side. So Peter writing in 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 4, I read it from the Living Bible Translation and from the NLT Translation. He says, And God has reserved for his children the priceless gift of eternal life. It is kept in heaven for you, pure and undefiled, beyond the reach of change and decay. If I read that verse from New Living Translation, it says, and we have a priceless inheritance, an inheritance that is kept in heaven for you, pure and undefiled, beyond the reach of change 
and decay. Verse 5 continues by saying, and God in his mighty power will make sure that you get there safely to receive it because you are trusting him. It will be yours in that coming last day for all to see. In other words, God is doing everything within his power to ensure that you make it to heaven and collect your reward. He continues in verse 6 by saying, so be truly glad. In other words, let nothing make you upset or depressed or sad he said be truly glad rejoice be excited no matter what you're going through in this side of life the bible said be truly glad he said there is wonderful joy ahead even though the going is rough for a while down here and i agree you will have some really rough times you will have some times where you'll be tempted to be discouraged you'll be tempted to be tired but the bible said there's something laid up for you so don't give up don't be discouraged. He says something is ahead. And he continues verse 7 by saying, these trials are only to test your faith. So God will allow these trials and these terrible things to happen to test your faith. Because you know some people, it's very easy to say, oh, I love God. I will serve God for the rest of my life. But once a pressure comes, once a trial comes, they give up. And that shows God that their faith is really not genuine. So God allows fiery trials to come your way to test the quality of your faith. To test all those words you say, oh, I love God. I will serve you forever. When a trial comes and you still stay trusting God. That is when God knows that indeed your faith is real. So it says in verse 7, these trials are only to test your faith to see whether or not it is strong and pure. It is being tested as fire tests gold and purifies it and your faith is far more precious to God than mere gold. So if your faith remains strong after being tried in the test tube of fiery trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day of his return. So when you're going through things, it might be that God is allowing these trials to test the quality of your faith. And the Bible says, if you go through these difficult times and your faith in God is still strong, the Bible says, then you're going to receive much praise, much glory, much honor on the other side. So we do have an inheritance. Part of it we we'll see here on this side of life, but the most part of it we will see on the other side of life. So no matter what comes your way, it doesn't matter the pressure the devil brings. It doesn't matter what you're denied on this side of life. It doesn't matter what you lose on this side of life. Always remember what is waiting for me ahead is a billion times greater than what I'm experiencing here on this side of life. As a matter of fact, your ears have never heard what God is preparing. Your eyes have never heard it. Your heart has never conceived it. Imagine the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 11 that that city, you know, the builder of the city is God. The architect of the city is God. Can you imagine a city designed by God? Can you imagine a city built by God? Oh my goodness, how great, how beautiful, how awesome that city is. You know, God, you can't beat him in creativity. You can't beat him in imagination. You can't beat him in any way. So I'm just trying to think, but my mind is unable to conceive what God has prepared for us who love him. So hang on, hold on. You have an inheritance. You have have a reward waiting for you on the other side of life. If only you stay committed to the Lord up until the end, no matter what. God bless you. Let this encourage you all the days of your life. In Jesus' name, amen. For other life changing messages, you can now download the app Rev or Yeek Speaks from Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Telegram, all on the handle or Yeeks Alfred. You refresh my soul, my spirit. You refresh my soul, my spirit. This is where I this want to be in your presence, oh God. In your presence, oh God.